My dear Encido family, hello. Today I finish uh, 90 days with Encido. Uh, it's a bit of a mini uh, milestone. Um, and I thought um, I'll share my reflections uh, over the last 90 days with you. Uh, so the last three months have been uh, very action packed. Um, I've had the opportunity of visiting uh, each of our nine uh, locations. Um, I've done seven town halls with you in different locations. Um, I've met hundreds of, uh, of you and, uh, and I've also uh, met 10 of our largest clients. Um, and all of this has given me uh, a deeper, uh, more real uh, perspective on a lot of the initial themes uh, that I shared with you as my good to great vision for Incido a few, few weeks back. Now, what is it that I feel really inspired by? There are, there are three set of things you know, which were initial positive feelings that I had, which have really uh, got uh, reinforced very, very strongly. The first is uh, feedback from our clients. As I've met our clients, I have seen that most of them see Incido as a trusted partner uh, and have a very high regard, confidence uh, in what Incido does for them. And that's fantastic. The second thing which has got reinforced is our talent quality. Uh, of course, at the leadership level, uh, but across different uh, levels in Incido, I see great talent, great energy. Third, and perhaps the most important thing I have felt this special Incido spirit, a spirit of can do, a spirit of making things happen, uh, and which is perhaps the most positive uh, uh, thing that we have about Incido. So overall, uh, the excitement that I felt around Incido uh, has got hugely reinforced as I have gone into a lot more detail. What has also got reinforced is our opportunity to build a world-class technology services firm. We have this opportunity is very real for us. However, to build this world-class technology services firm, there are four important shifts we will need to make. The first shift is moving from breadth to more depth. The great thing about Incido is that we are able to engage with our clients on a number of our needs. What we need to do going forward is uh, to build more depth in chosen areas. Building depth is how we will truly build world-class competence. So the first shift is from breadth to depth. The second shift is moving from reactive to proactive. What is very strong about us is that we are very, very client centric and able to engage and support our clients on their needs. And we have to continue that. But at the same time, we need to do a better job of more proactively understanding our clients needs and being able to bring that together into service offerings and solutions that we can take to many clients. This shift from reactive to proactive is a very, very important theme for us to scale up. Reactive to proactive. The third theme for me is move from silos to more collaboration. Again, a strength of Incido is that we have three verticals. And those verticals allow us to build a lot of domain knowledge and be very, very client focused. But at the same time, we need to do a better job of leveraging, of utilizing the competencies and the best practices which are there across our verticals. For that, we need to encourage far greater collaboration across our verticals. We have made an important step 
in this direction through the organizational structure changes uh, we have shared with you over the past weeks. So creation of new roles like the Chief Business Development Officer role uh, for driving our new client acquisition, the Chief Strategy Officer role for driving an upgrade in our account management and solutions capabilities, and the Chief Technology Officer role for deepening our engineering competence. All of them are horizontal roles. And this is the step we want to signal, which is moving from, work, from silos to greater collaboration. The fourth shift is from opportunistic to more focused and long term. Again, a strength of Encedo is that we are very entrepreneurial. We are very opportunistic. We find an opportunity and we go after that. And it's a strength we have to retain. But at the same time, to build world-class capabilities, we need to be more focused. We need to choose the spots that we really want to play in. And, and with them, we need to have a long-term view to building capabilities. Because the task of building a world-class firm is not a three-month, six-month task. It is something which is going to take us years. And we need to be focused and long-term in that. So friends, um, 90 days and feeling even more excited than before. Uh, the whole sense of opportunity uh, of building a world-class firm has become even more concrete in my mind. Um, we are also making very good progress in the good to great transformation program that I've talked to you earlier. Um, over the next few weeks, um, we are looking to close out on the recommendations of that program, both from a strategy perspective and an operating model perspective. And I would look forward to sharing those with you. Thank you.